Welcome to your Go Market Update and Charts of the Day for today, Tuesday, the 19th of December. Max Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, with your daily look around the markets as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Let's look at the news. Of course, overnight, we saw US markets continue to edge higher. The Dow's bank smack on neutral at its record highs, with the NASDAQ and the S&P 500 both to the upside. Some buying coming back into big tech. And they are very close all sorts of record highs now that we hit at the back end of 2021. In the news today, Bank of Japan is in focus. They've got the right decision, plus their press conference later this afternoon, which is likely to move certainly FX markets and one really worth keeping an eye on. US futures are flat in Asian trading. Asian markets are generally cautious, but the ASX is outperforming and up 0.5%. European futures are also pointing to a mildly positive open this afternoon. US dollar index trade neutral overnight, slightly lower in Asia today. Gold is pausing and copper is now in a trading range between 385 and 391. Those are key technical levels on the CFD contract worth keeping an eye on. Oil double bottom completed, but limited upside technically, uh, possibly up to around about $75. Uh, Bitcoin ended to the upside despite a choppy session. It's still eyeing 45,000, but needs to breach yesterday's high to do so, I think. And the data picture is interesting we have the rba minutes already released as we've already referenced the boj rate decision and policy statement has actually been released already we've seen some interesting movements on the yen but it could be the press conference later that has the major impact also due out is the eurozone and canadian cpi numbers looking for increasingly soft inflation numbers globally which should buoy markets further i've also got some u.s housing data later although the major u.s news comes later in the week with the highlight being the PCE data on Friday. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. We'll start with the Aussie Yen, and you can see there that significant move higher that we've just had over the last hour. We're into the next hour. Look as though it could continue upwards. If we just put this on a longer time frame, you can see context of this, which is important. Uh, so we're moving up towards this R2 level around about 96.72. I think if we breach that, then we could see a 60 pip move further. Irrespective of which Yen cross you're looking at, the picture is very similar. Uh, certainly, GB pound yen and euro yen are very close also to key levels at this stage. On the ASX, worthwhile following through on tariff payments, which was our chart of the day yesterday. But you can see there that we are not moving very much today at all. We like this. Worthwhile seeing where it ends up at the end of the session for a move up to around about this 114, 115 level, which will be a move of around about 6.5% of the upside from current price. Still looks technically strong now we've broken out of that range. And we're just waiting to see if there's going to be any follow through on that. Worthwhile checking in on this at the back end of the trading session. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye bye for now.